Hello, I'm Dennis Reese, executive producer of Minecraft Legends. And today we'd like to give you an insider's look at how we're building the PVP multiplayer experience for the game. Minecraft Legends is a new action strategy game set in a lush, dynamic world. It introduces epic storytelling, and you can form alliances with new and familiar Minecraft mobs to stop the invading piglins. Minecraft Legends will let you play the story-driven campaign as an online co-op experience together with your friends. And it will also feature a PvP gameplay mode where two teams with up to four players each works to destroy the opponent's team space. The game will support cross-platform play and online matchmaking. In order to create the best possible experience, we partnered with Blackbird Interactive to develop the game. And it's been wonderful to see their commitment and focus on the Minecraft universe. It's so much fun to be working with Mojang Studios on Minecraft Legends. Here at Blackbird Interactive, we have a talented team of developers who are using our background in strategy games to bring a new and exciting experience to the Minecraft universe. We're super excited to share more details about PvP gameplay. There are some really cool features that make PvP unique. First off, players share their army and resources with their team. This means that individual players aren't able to win on their own. They must cooperate to be successful. Communication is really important and you can sort of really tell the teams that gel together because they naturally form roles at the beginning of the game. And yeah. as soon as we start, you're off collecting, I start building. Yeah. We already, we have our favorite roles, but we change them up. Also, the world in PvP is procedurally generated, just like it is in campaign. This means that each PvP session is different than the last. That it's different every time you play, depending on how the map is generated, where the valleys are, the mountains are, where the secrets are, you know, where the towers are. In Minecraft Legends, the piglins are an ever-present threat, and this includes PvP. The piglins are on their own side. They're trying to kill both of you at the same time. So the opposing team is not the only thing you need to worry about. Beware of the piglins. In PvP, there's something for everyone. For players who like action, they can go attack the piglins or lay siege to the enemy base. For players who enjoy exploration, they can search the world to find resources for their team, hidden treasure chests, or scout the enemy base. Gathering resources to help the team out, that's super important but whenever I get into a PvP match, the first thing I try to do is to track down the Regal Tiger. It's my favorite mob to ride because it's really fast, but it's also really cute. For players who like building, you can spend your time building defenses and upgrading your base, because soon enough your enemy will attack and you need to be ready. So the first thing I do when we start is everyone runs off. I open the map, see where the enemy base is. First thing I build is what we call an upgrade tower where it allows you to build upgrades, so I place that at the back, away from the enemy. So I really pride myself in making, you know, impenetrable bases. Since the goal of PvP is to destroy the opposing team's base, defending your own base is really important. You have to start with a lot of walls, a lot of towers, and some gates. After that, you can just add whatever you want, freestyle it a bit. I like to add different layers of walls so my opponents have to find their way through to my base, almost like a maze. And then once those walls are up, I like to actually hide my ice traps behind them to catch enemies off guard. When it comes time to finally take out the other team, my favorite strategy is to make a forward camp just outside the enemy base. Then I get the biggest, strongest mobs I can as fast as I can and start sending them in. Then I can smash down the walls, take out their mobs and claim victory. The real fun of PvP is creating a strategy, having a game plan, deciding how you think you're going to crush the enemy, and then all of a sudden the hosts tell you, the opposing team just built a redstone launcher. And you're like, I can't do my attack now. I've got wow. to like build an anti-siege tower, which is an anti-air tower, to stop the redstone launchers. You just have to be constantly changing your tactics. And sometimes you're like, I have no idea what they're doing. And then you, you, soon, you certainly find out very quickly. Resources, or do I have a... Uh, a while back, we had somebody on our dev team use a strategy where they built a bunch of what are called plank golems, which are archers. So they're very weak, but they do a high amount of damage. And he had 40 of them, and he just ran through our base, ran around our tower, and took out our entire tower with such a simple strategy. And that's why we still love playing it every day, because 
every game is different. You never know what's going to happen. I'm Chris Osaki, and welcome to Turn 10 Studios. The team is hard at work bringing you the next generation of Forza Motorsport, built from the ground up to take advantage of the Xbox Series consoles. This is the most technically advanced racing game ever made. Today, I'm joined by some of our amazing team members to show you how we are making it look real, sound real, and feel real. This is Forza Motorsport. At launch, Forza Motorsport features over 500 cars for you to collect, race, and customize with more than 800 unique upgrades. This includes over 100 new to motorsport cars, the most modern race cars we've ever featured on our roster. Racing is violent. It's a battle on the racetrack. The advancements in our physics model are greater than Forza Motorsport 5, 6, and 7 combined. This makes our driving experience more fun and rewarding in the way the car accelerates corners and brakes. Our materials and shaders are built from the ground up at higher resolutions and optimized for a cutting edge ray tracing experience. Our paints are sourced using a spectrophotometer to capture multiple data points of light behavior on a surface. This yields a paint model that has a much more realistic light response across color, metal flake, and gloss. Damage and dirt buildup is unique to each car. It's now contextually aware and more localized. We simulate paint thickness, chipping, and directionality. Dirt accumulation is more realistic, gathering more in the low pressure areas like recesses and alcoves. These innovations tell the story of the work you put into a race and reflects the marks and battle scars of motorsport. This is our best sounding Forza Motorsport ever, and the first to be mixed natively for immersive audio formats like Windows Sonic and Dolby Atmos. To create an immersive soundscape, each audio system has been rebuilt from the ground up to deliver a new level of sonic depth and authenticity for our players. Modifying car parts like your exhaust and turbo changed the car sounds in Forza Motorsport, just like it would in the real world. Every car now has a variety of sound possibilities based on the parts you've installed. Hardware Accelerated Convolution Reverb accurately reproduces how sounds in Forza interact within an acoustic space, dynamically adapting to its surroundings and creating a realistic and detailed soundscape. New features like our regional track announcer system and improved tire and suspension audio bring a new level of realism to the game. Hear Forza Motorsport like never before. Every tire squeal, every engine, lap after lap. Forza Motorsport launches with 20 environments, built from the ground up for this generation. You'll get to race on iconic fan favorites, as well as five all new to motorsport locations, including our first in South Africa, Kailami. We capture our environments to an incredible level of detail. When we reference a track, our team comes back with over three terabytes of highly detailed photogrammetry and laser scan data. Through the power of the Xbox Series consoles, 
we're able to use this data to draw up to 10 times more detail than previous generations. You'll see lush trees, dense grass and overgrowth vegetation, animated track life, physically-based lighting and volumetric fog effects, and a fully procedural cloud system that evolves organically. Tracks look alive, sound alive, and feel alive with cutting-edge visuals and crowds consisting of tens of thousands of fully animated 3D spectators, so you're always immersed in the pure spectacle of racing. For the first time in Forza Motorsport, fully dynamic time of day with weather ensures a constantly evolving racing experience where no two laps ever look the same. Meanwhile, dynamic track temperatures, wet driving surfaces, and rubbering in ensure that no two laps ever play the same. I love the detail our talented team of artists have built into Kailami. Fast forward to night, and the vista is truly breathtaking. You can see the distant light glows of the city, a beautiful visual touch. Even the Kailami logo itself creates visual impact every time you see it, thanks to ray trace global illumination, which simulates how hundreds of thousands of light rays accumulate color as they bounce between surfaces. We're rendering all our environments in 4K at 60 FPS with real-time ray tracing on track to create true-to-life reflections on all smooth mirror and flat glass surfaces. With the incredible detail and rendering features of our track environments, Forza Motorsport is truly a generational leap ahead with unmatched visual fidelity and authenticity. Forza Motorsport is back, and it's our most comprehensive game ever, with over 500 cars and 20 environments with more new race cars than ever before. You can experience all of this in our incredible new online racing mode and in our all new car building focused single player career. We cannot wait for you to get your hands on this incredible game. me. And you're probably wondering how I ended up here. Well, it's pretty standard. Check this out. Music player in my chest. It's powering up my new robot arm. Oh. It's making everything sync up with the beat. Let's rock. This is awesome. What in the hell am I looking at? The name's Chai, not Defect. Is this the guy? We'll take down this company. One boss at a time. Just so you know, they're insane. Future rock star. I'm Shinji Mikami, studio head at Tang Gameworks. Thank you for all your support over the years. And I'm John Johannes, director on Hi Fi Rush. Chill out! It'll be fine! I'm in power! 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 So everyone thinks of us as putting out horror games like The Evil Within or spooky games like Ghostwire Tokyo, but this is clearly something totally different. And if this game hasn't already leaked, fingers crossed, 
We hope it's a pleasant surprise. Let's have some fun. まあ僕はね本当に新しいものができて未だにワクワクしてるよ。お、でもチームもみんなそう思ってますよ。So we've been waiting for this for a long time. So let's jump in and explain exactly what Hi-Fi Rush is. <laughs> Hi-Fi Rush is a rhythm action game. So it's a bit of a twist on your traditional action game. Here, your moves and attacks help create a living soundtrack. That means all your flashy moves, stylish and devastating combos add a layer to the music. The more you flow with the beat, the better you can connect your attacks and abilities. You are in total control during combat, but everything you do syncs up like an awesome music video. That's Hi-Fi Rush. You play as Chai, a wannabe rock star and victim of a weird corporate experiment that lets him sense the rhythm of the entire world pulsing to the game soundtrack. As you can see, the beat moves the world around you, and it's the key to combat. You looking for me? Your attacks will automatically sync to land on the beat, making Hi-Fi Rush a super easy game to start playing. However, attacking on the beat leads to combos that end with a musical countdown we call a beat hit. Think a big cymbal crash at the end of a drum solo, like this. Landing beat hits unleash a combo finish that adds unique musical flair and high damage attacks. And the crowd goes wild. Chai, chai, chai. Oh, um. Anyone see the guy that did this? How about we see it all in action? Bring it on. You're never restrained by the music. You can jump, dodge, parry, and attack whenever you want using whatever attacks you want. It's not about mashing buttons. The key here is feeling the beat. Your progress isn't blocked by missing the beat, but you get rewarded musically and mechanically for staying in rhythm. When we say everything moves to the beat, we mean it. Enemy attacks, cutscenes, dangerous obstacles, you name it. It all syncs to the music, creating an ongoing jam session of a game. To help out is 808, your robot cat companion who literally hovers over your shoulder and helps you find that rhythm. But we also have visual guides to help you even more. We want you to be able to enjoy Hi-Fi Rush. Whether you're rhythm pro or not, I look so cool doing this. Chai also gets by with a little help from his friends, literally. Get up, slacker! We've got work to do. Chai will team up with unlikely allies to expand his repertoire of moves, both in and out of combat. There's Peppermint breaking barriers and juggling enemies, along with Macaron smashing enemy armor and knocking back enemies. Tag teaming with Chai's partners and attacks opens up huge possibilities for dynamic combos and over-the-top action. Ah, that's not bad. The extra help is handy because when you're not fighting, you're going to be running around and wreaking havoc all over Vandalay's corporate headquarters, where everything is trying to take you down. You and your partners have a singular goal in mind. Taking down the bosses of Vandalay Technologies. Besides wanting to erase Chai for being a defect, it seems they've got something a little bit more sinister on their corporate agenda. You'll fight through each department to take them all on, each level with their own musical spin on the rock genre, and then we have a showdown. So 
Let's get ready to crumble. Boss battles are climactic set pieces, varying from straight up fights in musical minigames to chase sequences. Custom choreographed to licensed music from amazing artists. Hi-Fi Rush is like nothing we've made at Tango before. And we think it's like nothing you've ever played before either. It's a high energy, feel good rhythm action experience that's amazingly satisfying to play. Whew. Pretty rock star move, Chai. もしね、ハイファイラッシュでお客さんから怖いって言われたら、俺もう死んじゃうかも。ま、他にもびっくりさせることあると思うんだけど、例えば猫とか撫でるたりするの。いや、それは当たり前でしょうね。いや、でももう
for the Oblivion fans out there, how about another chance at taking on the colossal Daedric Prince, Mehrunes Dagon? Just like any single-player Elder Scrolls game, you can have a blast simply by following the main quest line, or seek out lore and learn more about the world. Become a craftsman, go fishing, decorate and furnish your home, customize your character, play it like an action RPG. And when you're ready, you can easily engage in one of the best open-world PvP systems. Run Dungeons Co-op with your friends for great loot. Or just join a guild to chat with others. The possibilities in this virtual world are endless. New players will immediately feel right at home because our community is one of the most, if not the most, welcoming on the planet. We invite everyone who has not yet experienced ESO to give it a try and create your own stories in our shared world. There's no required subscription and thousands of hours of content to dig into solo or with friends. Explore nearly every corner of Tamriel with no level restrictions. It's magical being able to travel almost anywhere you please from the moment you enter the world. ESO is available on PC and Mac, in addition to previous and current-gen consoles, including a purpose-built next-gen version for the Xbox Series X and S with high-fidelity graphics and enhanced performance modes. An added bonus for Xbox players, it's on Game Pass. And starting today, for a limited time, we're making all past chapters available to explore for any player, so everyone can test drive all of our adventures, including our take on Skyrim, Morrowind, Oblivion, and much, much more. At Zoss, we have so many passionate and talented developers who continue to add to Elder Scrolls lore by producing handcrafted, epic adventures, and I'm immensely proud to be a part of it. Believe me, we have tons more to share, and I can't wait for the team to show it all to you. Join us after this show for the 2023 ESO Global Reveal, where we'll go deep into all things Necrom. Thanks, see you in Tamriel. Something evil is swallowing up this place bit by bit. Nobody ever believes things can get this bad until it happens. Then, it's too late. But, there are people who can fight back. Stick together! Eyes up! Welcome to Redfall, Massachusetts, where the calm seas and sunny skies have been eclipsed by a legion of vampires. Redfall is a story-driven shooter at its heart, which can be played single player or co-op with up to four players. Choose your hero, each with their own unique abilities, and form the perfect vampire slaying squad to take back Redfall's haunted streets. At Arcane, we make games where the world itself is as important as the characters. With Redfall, we take an exciting step forward, building a lovingly detailed open world to deliver our largest setting ever. Every inch of our open world is carefully handcrafted and packed with environmental storytelling. Explore the streets of a quaint island town, from the once bustling downtown to the haunted forest to the decimated seaside boardwalk and gorgeously detailed landmarks. But it's not all danger all the time. There are safe places on the island where you can rest up, chat with survivors, and resupply. Here we're at the fire station, one of your home bases. This is one place you'll receive missions from survivors. There's something I need you to do. The old lighthouse in the bay. It's been used for over a century to keep boats away from the coastline. If we turn it back on, it's a warning to anyone trying to come to Redfall right now. Easy, right? Well, the lighthouse keeper is a real asshole. Joined up with those cultists and took the damn lamp with him. Go on, Bert. 
Here's a vampire known as the Shroud. Shrouds blanket the area in darkness, disorienting their prey. They hurl lethal projectiles and can even shift through the floor to avoid damage. The lighthouse is back up, but there's more waiting for you. Taking down vampires angers the vampire gods, who will summon the Rook to take you down. Let's transition to what you'll find outside of the main story missions. There's so much waiting for you. Redfall is filled with encounters that can pop up anywhere, like this brewery that's fallen under cultist control. Save the locals from being offered to the vampires. Like our past games, you can approach a mission in many different ways. Always be ready to improvise. <laughs> Remy uses her combat robot Bribon to help distract and eliminate the cultists. We got him, Bribon. Everyone's safe. Let's move on. Exploring Redfall will take you beyond the bounds of reality as you investigate otherworldly psychic spaces to unravel the vampire's secrets. Take this vampire nest. These deadly lairs change each time you step inside. Jacob sends out his raven to tag the enemies below. Deb follows up with his teleporter, instantly closing the gap. To destroy a nest, you have to take out its heart and all of the vampires willing to die to protect it. Horrible way to die. Stir it from the life! I woke them up! Just one bite. What just happened? 
now escape the nest before it comes crashing down. It'll collapse any second. Nests aren't the only psychic spaces. You'll find dangerous pockets all over the island. It's all vampire turf, so tread carefully. I got you! Redfall won't truly be safe until the vampires are wiped from the map. Outside the main story, another one of your missions is to take back Redfall neighborhood by neighborhood. Find safe houses hidden all over the island and then work your way up to the vampire controlling the neighborhood. To reclaim this neighborhood, you'll have to defeat a powerful vampire called the Siphon. Whether you dive in solo or with friends, each hero can take on any situation. Each brings powerful, unique abilities to the fight, and the upgrades you choose change how they play. Here, Layla's lift ability can be upgraded to launch teammates for airborne attacks. Upgrade Layla's umbrella ability with bullet hail to absorb enemy bullets and release the energy back at them. There are many ways to customize your hero's ability tree to match your playstyle. Nighty night. Let's get some light on the subject. Let's hit on the arsenal. There's a wide range of weaponry, from military gear to new vampire slaying inventions, from shotguns to sniper rifles. Well, well. And of course, there's also vampire stakes. Find these in the world to customize your weapons. When you reclaim significant sections of Redfall, the last step is to face the underboss who controls, or used to control, that neighborhood. Underbosses are powerful elites of the vampire gods with their own unique abilities, like this one's shield. When you prove yourself against the underboss, you'll receive a key of sorts. A skull that gets you one step closer to facing the ultimate threat, the vampire gods. Thank you for visiting Redfall. And thank you for all the support you've shown Arcane throughout the years. We sometimes joke that our games can be tough to define. The one thing that's consistent? We make the kinds of games we love to play. And that's how Redfall was born. We blended everything we love here at Arcane Austin. Immersive open worlds, unique and customizable heroes, RPG and FPS gameplay. And of course, our signature storytelling and rich world building. Along with our spin on one of the most classic monsters of all time, vampires. It's been amazing to see how all of us have pulled together to deliver our vision for something new. Redfall is the biggest, most ambitious game we have ever made. Our teams dove head first into this new opportunity, and we can't wait for you to experience Redfall for yourself. Thankfully, you won't have to wait too much longer. Redfall's coming on May 2nd. Thank you again for joining us. And we'll see you soon in Redfall. Here we go. fun to be working with Mojang Studios on Minecraft Legends. Ah, no. uh, uh, uh. 
This is our best sounding Forza Motorsport ever. Yeah, that was all right. <laughs> See you in Tamriel. All right, let's do this.